Hello, welcome to the artclasses.com. These are the highlights artwork from our community at artistarena.org. I'll have the link below the video so you can go. We have a bunch of good artists nowadays and last month in March, we held a contest. Creature is the topic and these are what these guys are coming up with. And congratulations to all of you guys that submit the artwork. Also, um, congratulations to the first place, Daniel Yales, second place, Jeremy Tan, which had the second one there, and the third place, Katarina Sedova. All these are my favorite, and there's uh, a few highlights here, and they're all pretty good artwork. It's a pretty tough decision, but based, mostly basically based on the vote. And we have a new judging system now. So also next month, we are having another contest. Feel free to come join us, do a character design. Anyways, let's go see some of the artwork and uh, there'll be some paint over of the creature. So thank you you all for entering and congratulations to all of you. I've seen a bunch of you have improved over the months. Uh, we just started this community in December or November, I can't remember, but uh, we've been growing pretty fast. So thanks to you guys and, and apologize ahead of time is I butchered your name and your last name. I also got a pretty bad accent. So anyways. Here's our community at artistsarena.org and the next contest is in April. You have a month to finish your contest. Contest this time, the topic will be a character design of a space pirate. Anyone can enter, just join their community and you will be able to enter the contest. Uh, the winner gets nothing. Um, you just have fun and, you know, improving yourself and join the other artists, give each other feedback, and that's uh, pretty much it. So feel free to enter the contest for the month of April. And don't forget to hashtag April Art Contest right here. And then you get to enter the contest. So you have any question about the contest, just go to the website and then uh, ask your question or anything over there. I'm not gonna answer anything about the contest under the comment. People can help you over there. Just the details are over there so you can feel free to join. So this is the winner from the last contest. Uh, this one belonged to Daniel Oyales. I think I butchered her last name, I don't know. And Jeremy Tan and Katrina Sedova. Uh, and this one is one of my favorite nice texture over here nice use of texture really good lighting and everything so um, and the cloud so that is one of my favorite ones and that one's belong to Miri uh, I don't know how to pronounce his last name uh, it's pretty cool great job and here comes uh, a few more root Andrews this one is really nice really cute um, and also this uh, this looking pretty nice too, and the I I really like the what you do with the background and the with the foreground, and if you push it a little further, it will be super awesome. The design is pretty good too by Robert Kane, and Chinese Spartan. I really like how he did the backlit. The lighting is backlit in the daylight, so that's a pretty good value um, you have. It's a nice silhouette that coming off of the screen. If you kind of maybe move the composition to the left, uh, I would say the right side of the screen, uh, it would make your composition better rather than in the middle. That's just uh, my opinion. But overall, it looks great. The value is correct, you know, just keep one value within here and then all the, the rim light around there is really great. If you, you know, have a good correct shape, then you'll be awesome. And don't worry, I'll have some paint over on a few of the painting that I think um, uh, it should improve some. Um, this is, it doesn't belong to us. I don't know why it's there. Um, and this one by Evan there, uh, this is pretty cool design of the goat with the evil looking eyes. And I kind of like the, how this one is different from the other because it's, it's a mean creature. It will kill you, which uh, I think that's the only one that made this creature uh, pretty evil. It's like the dark side of the creature. Uh, this one is also really nice. I'm in Dicus. And you also have a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, this one is really nice also. A cool character design. Have the front side and the back side. 
I mean the side view and then you have like a bunch of explaining stuff so that's uh, what a lot of uh, model sheet does and then you have like a bunch of move and then things but um, in the context you can put it in any form you like you know you can put it in the scene or you can have like a uh, there's no set solid rule as long as it look good and this one is by Lu Chi Hong um, he also have a really good design uh, I love the horns and the tails and how um, the body and design he made it's a good silhouette and uh, it's the, how goofy and evil he looks that is really awesome uh, great work Luchi Han I probably got a bad uh, Mandarin pronunciation um, here's one more from uh, a bunch more this is uh, from this guy something in my bathroom I love um, how he has uh, the chain and the lighting and the warrior silhouette and he has like a foreground, midground and background and that's uh, that's a well thought out scene and this one by Andrew Easter uh, it's a lot of detail, I love how the fur going and I love how you have this suggestive uh, detail of the bush and I paint over your image a little bit which we'll see later in the video but um, that's not much to um, and great work man this is a good looking one I also love the reflection on the water and this guy I, I really dig this design it's great design Jermaine Tan for a creature design that's a pretty creative I'll say this is a pretty good quality of work um, uh, most concept uh, creature concept would basically look like that and you know a just that and then you might have like a model sheet or something but but that's a pretty good quality of work already so if you push it a little further you'll be awesome uh, just one thing with the uh, back legs uh, if you push it a little more and uh, more refined I also pinned this one over um, this one have a full video on it so I'll show you guys how I would uh, paint it and we have this one from Austin Abelmont uh, which is really good. I think this is a traditional work. Um, looking at the stroke, I'm not sure. Uh, looks, it looks pretty cool. Like the guys carrying this uh, goat creature thing, uh, which is a different take on that. And this one by John Sear, it's pretty awesome. Also has like a lava coming out the whole scene, and this is a cute creature. Um, this one also by Emily Cormier. I'm not sure, I butchered a bunch of people's name, I'm sorry. Uh, this one is a pretty cute looking creature also. It's pretty awesome. Great work guys. And this one by Jillian Sakura. Um, I like how she has like, you know, the vertical line and has the whole composition thought out and with the waterfall and everything. Uh, really nice. It's a good work. Awesome work. And Yavas. Iris, um, this one is, is also pretty good. And, you know, you have like the lighting down with the character, um, the background. Uh, it doesn't matter much about background, where so it's a design of a creature, so something different. And Rai Okami Kage. So this one is look like a giant super creature, which is pretty good, and all this mountain and scene look pretty awesome look like she's eating a, a mountain that's pretty awesome great work and here is another one of my favorite right here Ben's Rayan he actually have another one which uh, standing in the snow but he didn't finish but this one's already good I love the palette and how how you use like the uh, the mixture of soft brush and hot brush stoke and how how you uh, portray the hair and uh, the feet so it's like a soft and hard along together which is uh, keep pushing it your work's getting better I've seen a bunch of your work so it's pretty awesome also this one is uh, by Katrina Sedova it's pretty good looking creature uh, really uh, what how do you say uh, like a twilight lighting which is kind of cool and I think she used a bunch of texture 
the creature looks good, but um, in the background, you need to push it a little further, um, have perspective and all that. But overall, looks good. And this one is by Daniel Oyalis. Also another one of my favorite. Uh, it's good use of texture and composition. This is right on the um, rule of the third, which is right here. Would have like a so it's a pretty well thought out scene, and then you have a foreground along with uh, the character, which is right on the spot on the foreground and the background which is kind of push away and subdue so it's pretty good sense of depth and good use of lighting also um, i also try to paint over this one a little bit but it's pretty hard because backlighting is one of my um, not my cup of tea it's pretty hard to paint backlighting so great work and we have a few more um, agency which is this creature trying to catch the fish uh, it's good looking and I like the color and how the thick, really thick hair look like a mountain goat sort of thing, which is pretty awesome. And Nathan Alexander, pretty good also. He put the creature within the um, desert dry scene. As, it's kind of nice to see a bunch of people have a different take on things. And a Adrian, Andrea, sorry. <laughs> A tweet color. So this is a pretty cool. It looks like a some kind of ancient creature with uh, a bit of I don't know, Aztec design along with it. And it's a uh, I don't know if that small centimeter, not that small I guess. Uh, it's slightly bigger. So yes, I think that's about it. Uh, great work, guys. Um, this is uh, our first contest, so that's not a lot of them yet. And there's already a bunch of really good work, and I know that you guys put a lot of effort into it. I hope to see all you guys doing the next contest, which is going to be fun. Um, yeah, really proud of you guys, and this is great work, awesome. And I, you know, the more you keep doing this, uh, the more you improve, and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can get to know each other and feed off of each other. And yeah, thanks for joining the contest. And again, um, you can join our contest. Uh, come and join us at Artist Arena. April Art Contest is going to be Space Pirate. I just put this picture up because I happen to like Captain uh, Captain Harlock, and you know the whole Galaxy Express nineteen nine hundred ninety nine or something like that. So it's pretty good. But you can design whatever character you want. So. Welcome to the part two. I'm just going to paint some of the piece that I like over. All right, this is the part where I ruin your painting. I don't know how to fix it. I'm just going to show you how I would paint it. I don't know if um, the way you paint is probably correct already. This one, I do not know what I would do. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and the lighting is pretty great. And I, I really love how he used the texture in the front. I probably couldn't have done it better. And But in the back, it could use some simplify and all that. Anyways, great work. So this one, I can't pan over. It's good. Uh, this guy, uh, that's what he have. So it's by Ben Ryan. Um, so this, if I would do it, if I would ruin your image, um, I would simplify uh, it a little bit more. I know there's some snow that, you know, tipping over and it's all kind of messy in the snow because he's like stepping all over it. But um, what I would do is I would simplify it a little bit and have a little more of a, a group of things to, con to uh, adjust the composition, even though even if you use reference and have like bunch of gathering rock, you can uh, just use the lighting and um, fade the rock or something and make them kind of group together and has a little one kind of random on the side or in here. And on the shadow, um, if you have like a not a pretty strong satellite like the sky you have, um, that shadow seems to uh, a bit strong. So I tone that down a little bit 
and that seemed to be like a, a day, like a foggy day or hazy day, not direct sunlight. Um, a diffuse, yeah, it's called a diffuse sunlight, so that's a regular. And with that, if uh, on the snow, focus on the one direction of the light, because this thing a bit chaotic, so I would go and push the light onto this direction and whatever the snow come up, you have a darker patch on the other side, just like this side will be lighter and this side will be darker, just paint on one direction. And then because the shadow is falling on this side and that's what I did. And then I would lighten up him a little bit since if the sun is coming that way and have that kind of shadow, um, it's a it's a really like good rendering, good palette. I really love it on the diffuse day. Uh, this seems a bit uh, too dark, so I add a little light. You can kind of tone that down a little bit, um, or whatever you prefer, and then just add a touch of highlight there, so it's kind of bring your creature uh, stand out a little bit more. And I didn't have time to paint the sky, so I would say simplify it. And the mountain in the back, I didn't have a lot of time to paint it because I have to. I'm going to finish my other stuff, but I try my best. And that's going to be a painting video in the end, so wait up, this is not it. Also, this is another awesome work from Andrew Easter. Um, if I would um, ruin your painting, I would, that's what I would do. Um, wait, I kind of ruined that a little bit. So, here's what I did. Uh, I simplify the sky, make it a little more look like cloud um, instead of a bunch of scattered. Just put them all together. Like if you notice, uh, you squint your eyes, you see that patch of purple. It's just one simple patch and a patch of cloud, which is that white. Simplify things, not overly a uh, bunch of noise and detail. And I also simplify or you know make big shape of the piece that are far further away that you have because uh, that's uh, a lot of noise so I just kind of simplify so your eyes can get uh, some rest from a lot of detail. Your detail is really good. If it's close up, they all work but uh, things that are further away you gotta give it some sort of uh, depth of feel but this a uh, pretty nice awesome bush it's excellent it's with uh, all these uh, brush stroke that you did and water um, again there's a lot of noise there so I ruin your painting by painting a bunch of black and uh, water it depends on uh, I would say that the how close you are if you get really close it get really you could get really really dark and it could get to be black and this is what I my interpretation of what it is um, at the moment and I use some soft brush on the creature which uh, that doesn't work out that well and also water will re reflect whatever the color the sky is. The uh, sky is purple so I just put some purple in there also so it's kind of you know that's a, a little deep water which have a, a deep dark um, color to it and that's uh, two more and I need one more and then uh, video painting in the end. And this one already looks pretty good, in my opinion, and I don't really know how to fix it. But uh, if you really force me to fix it or something, there's two ways I would do it. Uh, first, uh, since this one has a pretty strong light, which is, I think is intentional, it's 99. So that's usually pretty bright. Uh, you don't see that a lot in painting. Um, you usually use like around 93 to maybe 7 or 8 uh, but that's a bright light so that's uh, I guess that's intentional so um, that's kind of make it hard for me to fix anything on that and it's got a pretty good silhouette also because if you zoom out it's also read pretty well so that's a well composed image and but on the bright light uh, I would think that it would kind of glow a little bit. If you use that 99, it would, um, that's the original, and then I would kind of shine some highlight on the rock a little bit there, and then I have the light kind of glare 
over the creature a little bit and a little bit here and leave some of the uh, in silhouette but to me I didn't really like that that much because it's I mean it's had a silhouette but it's destroyed a little bit of the strong silhouette so it's had like soft edge uh, and then hard edge on this side and also add some shadow on that would cast on the horn a little bit and then uh, I add some what did I add uh, some rim light on here which I don't know if it works it's pretty quick and then I add kind of a darker shade which might, that might not work but you can always take it out just to try it out and the other way um, this is what I do oh I think I did something to this image I don't know what happened so I accidentally basically screwed up the work um, so if I would ruin this painting this is what I would do I would uh, if I want to showcase the character and make the character pop out a little more then I would darken the scene slightly a little bit which I don't think that's a good idea and then adding some lights over there so it's more like a little darker scene and then add the shadow add some highlight so it would make this guy stand out a little more because you can have like the, the light whatever that's shown then that's might be a bit too much to frame the character, but whatever it is. And then as, I try to add rim light, but I didn't. So I guess um, it's already look good as is. There's no need to fix it. I just you know try a couple of things and uh, depends on what you like. Anyways, great work. And here comes the video. So I spent about. Uh, half an hour painting over this guy. Uh, this is probably one of my most favorite designs from uh, the contest and what I come up with was this. Um, this one's already good as a concept but you know if you want to ruin it or how I did it and I push it a little further so I kind of bring out the form and giving it more volume. I didn't fix it late though because I didn't have enough time to figure out what I would do with it. And I kind of like uh, your subtle design that you have there. And anyways, let's uh, watch the video. Yeah, so I'm just gonna speed this up time too, so it's not too fast. So let's get started. So I just actually add another layer, multiply, and I just put uh, the black on it, and just kind of push everything back. And then I use the eraser to erase those. Uh, the multiply layer so that we can see the rest of them just giving it light so now we have the lighting basically from the front just the base lighting nothing fancy no backlight no side lighting no it's a front three-quarter mostly so I use harder brush first and then now use soft brush to kind of um, convey some roundness and some fur so you don't have uh, way too harsh of an edge still erasing the multiply layer and now I'm using brush picking the some lighter brown color trying to bring out some more tree on the head but actually I was trying to erase something so I can see some green. So now I pick the I use a dodge tool and bring out some light on the tree on the actual um, background layer because I merged everything down already. And bringing up some more of those moss. Again, dodge tool, just dodge it, and bring the greens out because it's kind of dark up there. You can leave some in the shadow and you can um, bring up some of it. And now I'm just painting the tree, the trunk. I'm just trying to bring out the part that's supposed to be in the front. And I bring out different. 
value of the vine so that you can see some of the vines are in the front and some of them are in the back or in the shadow and whatever which wine ever got hit by the light it will uh, be lighter and now I'm trying to tighten up the face using the local color nothing fancy I use normal layer that's the um, nothing fancy here yet and trying to figure out what color of brown I use to bring it out and now I use uh, probably 80 or 70 percent to paint the tree out and I'm trying to make a big shape uh, make a clear cut separation of value from the top and the bottom, the top will be um, will get hit by the light, so it will be more brownish. And some of the part in the shadow will be leave it as as black. And the object that are further away, I'm using the background color to push it out, and I'm trying to slim down some of the branches so now you can see a little bit of depth from the trees because it was kind of all even out so now I push it away and I'm going to push this vine away slightly or so and then you got to leave some of the tree trunk and the vine in front and those going to be uh, those are going to have going to have a clear or a harder edge. Now I'm trying to give more shadow onto his underneath his chin, bring his head out so he has like some form and shape. And now I'm going to try to attempt to make some fur using chalk brush and some kind of texture brush and bring it in layers as you can see I built um, I paint in a dark darker shade first and I start to lighten it up so I can build the layers so when you put something in the dark it's you know it's way in the back and you put a little bit lighter it's come out the front and then you put the lightest shade and then it's come out into the layer and now I'm using dodge to to bring the top layer out a little bit more so those are my kind of fur so this is pretty quick like half an hour so don't expect anything um, awesome or yeah I'm basically kind of just gonna ruin it um, so there you see and then I use some of the really small brush to kind of give me some some hair that poking out and some hair that are um, irregular now I'm adding some texture to giving it some shadow back in because I think I push it a little too far out compared to the face it's getting too light Now I'm pushing the further part away a little bit. And again, you know, if you want to push, uh, and now I'm trying to add the backlight or the wind light, which is going to be orange to give it some dimension. If you add some wind light, it's, chances are you, you can make an object become more 3D. And now my attempt to bring out the light on the back um, just doesn't look good, so I just leave it as is. Maybe it's just slightly lighter. There's some experiment. So now, uh, pretty much this whole process, I'm focusing on bringing out the form because the design is already good. Um, you don't need to change the design at all. I like it a lot.
just trying to push it a little further, bring out a form. Just trying to make it lighter in the back, but like I said, it didn't, it wasn't gonna work. Because the lighter it's get on the other side, when you bring out the rim light, it's, it will make it not look as good in this one. There are certain cases, not always 100% that it won't. Now I'm adding the rim light, so now you're bringing out, I'm bringing out more form on the other side. And I didn't have enough time to finish um, the part of the leg, so I kind of leave it as silhouette. Using some dodge tool to bring that part out slightly more. So yeah, I think that works out. I just got to delete the top part a little bit that I paint because uh, the light wouldn't go that far up. As we go progress further up, um, the rim light is not as strong as the direct light. So the further away it's going to have a weaker effect. And then um, adding the rim light to some of the vine. And I will post all this in a forum after the video is out, so you guys can take a look at them, how I ruin your stuff and make you mad. But you guys can't find me because I'm always hiding. Anyways, so what more am I doing? I save, yes. And bringing up some light, light apart a little more. So, and now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adding some more uh, moss on there, bring it lighter. And bring up some more wine in the front, some leaf get hit by the light, just little random stuff. Sometimes little things can go a long way. It's like you little stroke here, little stroke there. If you put it in the right place. I'm trying to add some more fur onto the legs. Just to even them out. Doing the same, and here's where I noticed that you have a pattern on your character. I was like, oh, that's a pattern, so I rather should bring it out. So I bring out the pattern. Maybe a little more pronounced because I think it looks cool. It's a good design overall. And then it has some in the back, but not so much because it fades away with the light. And there's some highlight onto the eyes. A little bit on the nose, on the ear. Yeah, it's pretty much what I did. It's like half an hour. It's bringing it out here and there. But it's good design. And uh, one, one other thing is on the little branch, try to make it really small and crooked. Uh, instead of having it soft, making it, if you notice a little small branch, they're usually um, a little more angular rather than um, rounded. Like the big trunk can be a little more rounded, like on the head, but on the small little 
pieces you can it reads better if you have um, a more angular shape so I'm just making them more angular and pointy so this is it all right guys thank you for watching the video and you can now go join the contest in April um, yeah it'll be cool if a bunch of you guys can do it it'll be a good practice and it's fun um, get to know the other fellow artists give each other feedback there's a there's a bunch of good artists now nowadays and I it's kind of nice to see you guys progress and usually I'll go there and give feedback randomly and harass you guys which is kind of cool that's like the highlight of my days harassing people in the forum or in the community all right um well this is a long video and I think I'm gonna go to bed <laughs> have fun uh bye bye guys <laughs>